morning. Morning. Good morning. Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. What's up, YouTube? How's everybody doing? It's Faye Marsh here, and welcome, guys. Welcome back to some more Minecraft. This is our Minecraft Let's Play world, guys. And the newest edition or newest version of Minecraft, it just came out within the past few days here. And I figure, since I said before that we are going to do a uh, full exploration episode of the Nether as soon as the newest update comes out. So now, that is what we are going, guys. We are going to go ahead and go in the Nether. We don't, we don't have a lot of steak. We don't have a lot of steak. I need to go back and get some. But we are going to go ahead and we are going to head in the Nether. And we are going to explore. As soon as I get myself some more steak. We're going to check out all the new biomes, all the new mobs, and all the new stuff and things, which reminds me, I know that we, uh, I know quite, quite a bit. I've been watching definitely a decent amount of, oh, oh I'm out of gold. I'm out of gold, guys. Uh-oh. All right, well, so there are, you know, the piglins in the nether, and we cannot, or they will, they will be mean to us if we don't have gold. So we're gonna have to prepare. So I, I did reset my nether completely again, and it looks like this time, instead of spawning in a salt sand valley, we spawned in a nether wasteland right here. So that's pretty cool. So nether wasteland that is mostly meant for. Why does that sound weird? I'm gonna take another picture of my thing right here. We're gonna have to reset up our end portal again as well. And these are these sounds though. Oh, one thing that I have heard that you really should do with this is put the music on. I heard it's really sound. It really sounds really good. <laughs> what? No, <laughs> what? I just died. Is that a zombie pigment? Yo, these ambient sounds are crazy. So that's cool. We're right next to a crimson, which is awesome because I think the crimson is probably the coolest looking biome that they that they've made. I don't really care too much for the blue one, but personally, I just I don't really care for blue very much. Um, I'm definitely like red a lot more. And one thing I did not prepare for is that you're supposed to use a uh, a hoe to take out these uh, these warp blocks right here, which you can use any tool that you want to. But a hoe takes it out really fast. And then you got your shroom lights. Same thing. You can take out what you want to. Or you can take it out with ever what. You, you can take it out with whatever tool that you want to. Alright guys. I can't speak at all. Alright so. I think we can probably go ahead and get. Grab a couple of these things up. Uh, uh, I'm going to leave that. I'll leave that. And I will grab a hoe a little bit later. But as of right now. We're going to explore. So I know we need some of this fungus. And this fungus. So this is a warped one. So we can bone meal this one. And we will be able to get a blue tree. And this is a crimson fungus. Yep. And we can bone meal that one. And we can get this red tree. Now from what I've been watching. These trees can grow up to approximately. Oh it was, it was really high. Like maybe 26 blocks. Something along those sorts. And these weeping vines, I want to grab some, but you can only grab some when you use uh, Silk Dutch. These weeping vines are actually really, really cool and really, really helpful whenever you want to get um, down from a high place. If you don't have like Elytra or something nice. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You can uh, mine this stuff is exactly like Netherbrook, just with a. Uh Wait, can, you, can you? Okay, yeah, it's, it's you. It's pretty much nether brick, essentially. But I don't know why it's got dirt sounds. I'm not sure if that's intentional. I don't know. Everything sounds like dirt. <laughs> yeah, definitely got some cool stuff. I'm really excited to try out new things with these uh, these shroom lights. I honestly can't wait. Don't die, don't die, don't die. <laughs> I think these shroom lights are going to be a really, really awesome addition to this game. And same with this wood to be able to do something with it. I think it's going to be absolutely awesome now so th this is right here these are the two new uh, these are a couple of the new mobs 
So we got a piglin that's shooting at me. Oh, and we got this hoggy. Hoggy. So hoggy right here. Oh, God. I am trying to remember. Ow. Trying to remember what the... Um... Oh, hoglin. Hoglin. Jeez. I don't know why I can't remember that stuff. So that was the hoglin right there. This thing. So, and they hit for some massive amount of damage. You got to be very careful. Even with armor, they really, really will hurt you. And then, uh, piglins, they're not too m much of a big deal. They can spawn with either a crossbow or a golden axe, I believe. I think, or maybe a golden sword. I don't know. I thought that, I thought they could, uh, see, like, right there, he just hit, he hits for basically one and a half hearts. <laughs> Pretty, pretty hefty guy. And the cool thing about them, too, is that they drop pork chops. So, later on, we are going to make a fully automatic pork chop farm. And this is going to be basically one of the only farms that is pretty much completely AFK. Oh, what is that? One of the only farms that is pretty much completely AFK able that gives you a high-end food source. Because most of the time... Uh, food sources like you can you can make a completely automatic chicken farm but the chicken farm is not a high-end food so it does not give you very good saturation and it does not give you very good food bars or f hunger haunches don't be mean please okay so this is crying obsidian and this is polished basalt or polished blackstone brick, if I remember right. And I love this stuff. Absolutely love this stuff. Just like every every person in the Minecraft community has been saying, we have been waiting for a black brick for for years. Or a, like like a really nice uh, dark block, I guess, for years, and it's finally here. It looks so nice. Who's cutting onions? Not me. But yeah, guys, this this nether looks absolutely fantastic. Oh, you get chest in this too? What? That's an iron nuggets. Okay, yeah, they added in iron nuggets now because you can, um, you can craft. What what can you craft? Iron chains now. Who's that? Why did that do that? Why does that look different? Cracked polished stone. Polished black stone. These things have got such a long name now. It's the only thing that kind of sucks. But, uh, hey, I ain't complaining that much. I'll take it. And from what I've seen with, um... Where did the wrong flesh? With the new gold... Oh, did they rework the quartz textures? Really? This quartz looks different. But from what I've seen, with gold, like these actual gold um, pieces. Oh, I guess I'm sorry. I got the hiccups. But with these gold pieces, new gold ores that are here. Um, I think there's one wall all the way up there. We, we've seen a couple of them coming down here. But with those gold ores, I believe if you fortune three them, you can actually get quite a lot of gold nuggets and they are actually extremely useful instead of uh, like if you need gold really bad and say you're in the overworld or whatever and you um, you just need a quick fix of a, a few gold. It's easiest just to run in the nether here and then you can actually just quickly find uh, a few gold veins. Ooh quickly find a few gold veins and you will be able to easily get you know what you need which is very very cool now uh, don't die oh, no. uh, all right so let's go ahead and go on a bit of adventure so this is the soul sand valleys right yes yeah, soul sand valley so well, oh, another new enchantment they added was Soul Speed 3, which you can get from Piglin Bartering, and which Piglin Bartering is whenever you give the piglins gold items. So, like, here, let me, uh, 
Let me see if I can go find a piglin real quick. And actually, let's let's put these on because so that way the piglins aren't going to bother us. Now, let's go ahead and go back to find some. Oh, oh, it's a piglin. Yes. So if we if we give a piglin one of these gold bars, they will swoop it up, inspect it. Oh, all right. You just stole that. Run along now, baby. Oh, did you, are you stealing it? And then you're not going to give me nothing? Bruh. Okay, come on. Pick it up. I need you, need you to give me something real quick before I die. So they will trade you one of... Oh, what did he just give me? I think he just gave me Crying Obsidian. I only got one. So he just gave me three more of the crying obsidian. And I'm not going to trade with him down there because that's that's a no-no. But yeah, so they will trade you one of about... Trying to remember. I think it's one of 16 items. F 15 or 16. So something like that. Something, something around there. So we just keep on giving them gold. And they will keep on giving us items. So let's see. Let's see what he gives us now. So we got crying obsidian, and now he gives me quartz. Now this is going to be an absolutely fantastic way to get an automated source of quartz, because you, everybody knows that quartz hunting is extremely annoying to do, just because it takes so long. And you mine up. I think that was just normal obsidian. And you mine up, you know, all around your area, and then now you're left with no nodes of quartz. So then you got to travel thousands of blocks away. And now it gives us uh, soul sand. So he's given us crying obsidian, nether quartz, soul sand, obsidian. What was that? Is that four items? I lost count. He gave us some more quartz. Thank you, sir. Thank you, I'm up. But yeah, so this guy's this is gonna be like basically the new way of of I don't know, I think he gave me a city again. But this is gonna be the new way of getting lots and lots of items. In a quite easy manner. So I'm thinking within within the next episode probably we are going to build a enormous gold farm up top. I know in the last episode, I did say... Oh, they gave you leather too. I did not realize that, to be honest. Uh, can you trade gold ho horse armor? Sweet. I think they trade just about anything. I think they'll trade gold swords, boots, anything. I lied. Not anything. <laughs> he obviously took that and said, No, I don't like that. <laughs> but alright. So that's definitely going to be a really, really awesome way to be able to get um, lots of items that are going to be a lot uh, more difficult to get normally. Especially the obsidian. He's gonna Since they're going to trade obsidian now, there's almost virtually no reason to have a obsidian farm for uh, with like the nether... N uh, the wither in the end. There's almost virtually no reason to have that anymore. Obviously, unless you want to do just for fun, which I probably will do just for fun anyways, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, the purple helmet. <laughs> I was like, what in the world is that? Okay, so next thing I want to do is I think I want to gather one of these basalt um, pillars. Oof, oof. And what are we going to get rid of? We'll get rid of this gold ingot. Or golden nugget. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and gather like maybe one or two of these basalt pillars. And then I'm going to fly around and I'm going to see if I can find some blackstone. So I can get some of the, uh, from the blackstone. Because the blackstone is mostly what I'm here for. So I definitely want to start building out of that. So I will see you guys in just a little bit. Alright guys, so found another one of those little um, temple things. Whatever these are. Got a little bit more obsidian, some gold swords, pressure plate. 
gold armor. Don't really need any of that, but I'm going to break it. And... Boss all of it. Just so we can get all this stuff. Alright guys, so I base I think I found it. I think I found it. So this is a basalt delta? Yeah, basalt deltas. And there are nodes or areas of blackstone. I believe this is blackstone. Yeah, right here. So blackstone. And there are areas of basalt. So this is basically where I'm going to be mining probably all of my stuff and things. These, man, I, do, I gotta say, I gotta say, these ambient sounds and all this type of stuff is crazy. Yo, there's a, there's another fortress here too? If there's another fortress here, I might not rip too far into this. So there is one blaze spawner right there. Because I do eventually want to make a, a blaze spawner farm. Oh, they added a new nether brick sound too? What? Yo. Sounds so good though. It does. Well, we're not here to explore explore this. So, um, that's old news. We're gonna go ahead and head back out here. So this is this is probably where I'm going to be mining all of my basalt from, and then we're going to need to find a nether fortress. Ow, ow. We're gonna need to find another fortress that has um, the crossroad plus. I'm gonna need to fly up again. So they changed the way in which nether fortresses uh, now spawn um, with the skeletons and whatnot. So beforehand, you could basically find a little, little like crossroad. Okay. Ooh, that's. I'm on fire. Let's uh, let's turn that down. Eh. Yeah, so they have pretty much changed the way that it works now. Beforehand, so right at the crossroad, right there. Ah! Right at the crossroad right there, it used to be basically a big square. And that was all the spawning area that you could use for wither skeletons. But now they changed it to where it's specifically in line with the crossroads. Or, well, specifically in line with the, the nether fortress. So, say if you were to build a square right here, like on the between this member and this member there would be nothing spawning right here at least no wither skeleton you'd be able to get um probably blazes and pigmen to spawn but no wither skeletons so that's going to be something to keep in mind for the future yeah so let's go ahead and i'm going to basically uh just mine up a few of these things and then we're going to take it back home and then that's probably going to be uh, it it's dangerous over here. It's dangerous. Oh. oh no, there's actually one other thing, guys, that we have not found yet. So actually, before I go ahead and start mining this stuff, we're going to go and try to find it. And the one last thing that we have not found is a brand new dungeon they added, which is called a Bastion Dungeon. It's, I think it's called Bastion. Hot Taurus Destinations. Let's do it. But no, so yeah, there is a place called, it's called a uh, Bastion Dungeon. And, oh my god, oh my lord, oh my lord! <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's try not to die. You know, that might be a good idea. <laughs> but yes, the new Bastion Dungeons are pretty much just I don't know exactly what to call
Well, um, that happened. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, so I'm gonna cut the video here, guys. And what I'm going to do in between this episode and next is I'm going to go ahead and get myself uh, fully geared up again with a uh, full. Uh, diamond and elytra and at the moment this is pretty much all I have to my name so I do have a couple couple pickaxes I can work with uh, another shovel and like a smaller sword some boots and a couple chest plates but I don't have any other uh, like leggings or I don't even have another elytra so I'm gonna have to go back to the end and go try to find an elytra because I really, really, really need one of those. But, yeah, so that's going to do it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this another episode. In the next episode, uh, we'll probably get to looking for that Bastion dungeon. And um, I'm not 100% sure exactly what I want to do for next episode yet. I'm just kind of taking it uh, taking it a little bit slow here. Uh, figuring out exactly what I want to do, you know. Um, I know in the previous episode, I had said that we are going to try to work on our main base now. But, um, yeah, I'm not 100% sure yet. I still need to collect a bunch of dark oak wood yet, and I haven't really gotten to that yet. And I feel like that if we can get a probably a, a zombie pigment farm going up, and we can hopefully get a bunch of gold going, I think it'll really, really help us out a lot with being able to uh, craft up special things like powered rails and stuff like that for um, just a uh, home base in general. And honestly, I have a very, very big plan to basically I'll, I'll need to i need to tear down all of this and i'm going to create a much more efficient and much uh easier iron farm than all of this uh junk right here and in order to do that it's going to take uh take some pillagers it's going to take a bunch of obsidian and stuff like that so it's going to be it's going to be an interesting one um but i'm really really eager and it's also going to be a lot more compact in the overworld here but it will be a bit bigger in the nether which i am perfectly fine with perfectly fine with and I think that'll be a lot of fun and as far as this uh this mob farm goes um I'm pretty sure my chests are completely filled up there and a lot of my chests are completely filled downstairs as well um so maybe I'll, I'll go and take those and remove those but I know for sure I want to get rid of that and then I want to relocate that as well and I'm thinking that I want one in each corner of the base I'm not 100% sure yet but um yeah, I think I might just take it down for now because uh, we already have a ton of drops already and we're not too far into it, doing any sort of automation and stuff like that. And again, we still have a bunch of iron, you know, com coming through. So we'll be okay for a while. But yeah, so next episode, I got I got tons of plans to try to do tons of different things and uh, we'll see how much we can accomplish. I think the first step, though, is going to be creating a gold farm, a nice working gold farm after I get all of my gear, obviously. And uh, I think that's going to be it. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for some more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.